Welcome to Dashway Talks, a show powered by Dashway Consulting, a China-based strategic market research company founded in 2010. Uh, my name is Fabian. I'm the founder and grow director of Uplab, a company where we help influencers uh, become better at who they are,、uh, and at the same time we do influencer marketing,、um, mainly specialized in Douyin for China. What is unique of KOLs on Douyin compared to other platforms? What I think that Douyin KOLs are very unique in is partly they're young and they're very creative. So in terms of the content creation, if you compare it. it WeChat KOLs or Weibo KOLs. I feel that Douyin KOLs are using way more creativity, and they're investing a lot of time in actually their content creation. Partly because it's not text-based, it's not photo-based, it's video-based. So it's really tough for people actually to create a good piece of content in ten or fifteen seconds. So that's basically make a storyline、um, which is interesting for a certain group of people. Um, and kind of convince them for something、uh, um, if they would like you or, or to sell a product in ten or fifteen seconds.、Um, I think that's very impressive from these content creators that they're able to do that,、um, and that they can grow their channel、um, basically just on content based on a couple of seconds. I think other KOLs from other channels on WeChat or Weibo can learn way more from that how to stay relevant. Um, if you just have a couple seconds time,、uh, and at the same time, companies also can learn a lot from that in terms of the content creation and how to stay relevant in just a couple of seconds. Which KOLs are the most followed today on Douyin? I cannot say exactly the names. Like there are plenty of very successful KOLs.、Okay. Um, I think that there's a kind of a big difference between there are popular KOLs who already been popular on other platforms and later on joined Douyin. That could be KOLs popular on other channels or celebrities. Who started to join、um, the platform? So, kind of naturally, they became very popular in a very short time. And then at the same time, you have KOLs who started, let's say, on Douyin、um, since their launch in 2016, and actually have been just doing Douyin and not any other channel. And they have been also growing very fast. And you see, yeah, the biggest difference in these celebrities is just they they document more their lifestyle, so they're very popular there. The people have been. Doing go in from the start、um, are more into I would say beauty or gaming or something like that. So they have a very niche specific、uh, audience build up. So I think that's are the biggest difference. But yeah, the followers are going I think from popular five million to fifty million, sixty million followers、uh, per channel. So it really depends on kind of the category you're in. You see beauty popular, and then actually people who are really popular like famous actors or or, or singers、uh, popular on the platform. Are there any foreign KOLs who are successful on Douyin? Who are they? Are their videos in English or Chinese? Yeah, there, there are quite some foreign KOLs popular、uh, on Douyin in China.、Uh, some have been actually very early, so they joined already a couple of years ago. Some are just kind of joining.、Um, most of these KOLs are、um, or from yeah, so they it's English speaking a lot,、um, where they actually kind of subtitle in in Chinese. Some of the KOLs which are popular, but it's just a couple.、Um, they do everything in Chinese, and they actually sometimes become popular because they have a very strong local dialect from the region they've been living in and learning Chinese. So that's one group. But the most are actually English speaking with Chinese subtitles, or they do it together, or with their boyfriend or girlfriend, for example,、um, or with another Chinese business partner because they're doing,、um, let's say, English teaching or something like that. So they will teach English over Douyin in very short videos, the way how do you pronounce certain words, etc. So they're foreign KOLs popular through these kind of things. Yeah. How brands can leverage Douyin? Are KOLs the only way? Um, so brands can leverage Douyin, I think, through a couple different ways.、Um, I think the the most thing we see because we're doing quite a bit marketing for brands、um, is you should definitely step out of your comfort zone. Douyin is a whole new type of channel.、Um, if you compare it with the common channels for brands,、um, which are WeChat, Weibo, and now actually Xiaohongshu, which I would say are more the comfortable channels, you can write a piece of text, add a couple of pictures you have with your company, and you can and keep start posting that. Sometimes doing a KOL campaign.、Um, again, for Douyin, it really asks about your creativity also as a brand. So, how do you actually create relevant content for your business in ten or fifteen seconds in video form? That's a very big challenge. Like, even if you look at the West, but also in China, there are not many companies who are succeeding in video content.、Um, I think for brands to succeed is 
do it out of a personal perspective. So be create content out of a personal name who is kind of an ambassador for your brand. And whether that's an employee of your company or that's a KOL you're using as an ambassador for your brand, I think you can do it these different ways. Um, I think one company who does it very well is Alipay. Uh, they create very interesting content. Uh, if you have Doing, you should check it out. Um, they kind of do it in a very Alibaba style, but also Doing style where they kind of make funny content around Jack Ma. Uh, but at the same time, their social media manager is also recording content, how he's sneaking into Jack Ma's office and stuff like that, and using the popular songs, um, which are popular on Douyin that time. So they do very well, and I think that's kind of out of their comfort zone. And I think if a company as big as Alibaba is able to create that type of content, I think other types of companies should take that as an example and create similar content. Um, instead of trying to be too much in their brand guidelines because it's really tough to create relevant content for a young audience in 10 to 15 seconds if you want to create advertising types of videos. So really down to earth content, easy, understandable um, and more from a personal perspective. I think then you can succeed on doing. Any questions? We will find an expert to answer them. Drop your questions in the comments or send us an email dx at dashwayconsulting.com.